Just wanted to uh, talk to you about some things that really bother me. They're just gonna go from left to right, there's no line in them, they just bother me. One pity tweet. Please stop with these pity tweets. It's my birthday, I hope somebody tells me happy birthday. Oh, I'm sick, I'm so sick, oh, I'm sick in bed, I'm so sick. Oh no, oh, I have a headache. Oh no, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I got the secret, I got the secret. Oh, don't ask me, don't ask me, don't ask me. Don't do these pity tweets, they suck, they're stupid. Next one. Another thing that bothers me is that my computer makes such a noise when it's rendering video doorbell people that don't email back in one day horrible hate it you send an email and then you wait 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 and don't even get me started on companies that you tweet and that they'll tweet you back come on we're living in an age where things are Fast emails, easy. We're not mailing it anymore, putting a stamp on it. It has to go to the other side of the world. That is the old days. That is snail mail. But email is fast. So if I send you an email, please say you got it or you you respond right away. I, I'm not that difficult. I don't ask many difficult questions. You know, respond faster. Bothers me is that when somebody follows you on Twitter and you want to follow them back. They have this, this lock on there and they have to approve that you can follow them. Why the hell would you want to follow me if I cannot follow you? Stupid lock. Yeah, I want to approve of the people who follow me. But I'm gonna follow anybody! It also bothers me that we cannot control the weather. I want a thermostat for the weather. So God, if you're listening, give me the thermostat and I will arrange the weather. No more rain or rain at night maybe and you know just like 20 22 degrees every day all year every year all the time blue skies sun rain at night let me control the weather that bothers me that i cannot control the weather man in suits a tie makes you look nice who in the hell invented that a suit and a tie somehow makes you look oh now you're in a tie now you are somebody so stupid people in the state i see sometimes in the store i see a 16 year old boy he has to wear a tie because it makes him look decent it is a straw hanging down from your 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 your, your neck and a suit come on people they all look like fun like you're going to a funeral every day and those smokings Oh my lord, when they when people go to a, like a like a huge celebration or, or, or New Year's Eve, they wear these penguins outfits. Who in the hell thinks that looks cool? It looks I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm the water is out of my mouth. I am suits make me angry, ties make me angry, penguin suits make me 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 furious! Horrible! Don't do it! Throw away your tie! No! Please! Then there are these people when I say good morning on Twitter every day like I do every day I say good morning good morning on my time zone I say good morning and yes I do know it's different times around the world so oh here it's afternoon here it's evening oh here it's I know this I just say good morning from my point of view so good morning is good morning from my point of view my time zone I know it's a different time where you are I know I am not that stupid good morning means good morning in my time zone okay that bothers me. It bothers me that when people want an appointment with me, they always expect me to come to them. Why? Oh yeah. Oh, I can go this, 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 this day. But you don't ask if I want to come to you. Come on. It bothers me. It bothers the hell out of me. I'll come to our place. Oh yeah, you're just a painter. We are just, we are an office. We are people. We are, <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> What also bothers me is that things like potato chips and candy and licorice and all these nice sweet things, popcorn, that they're all fattening. Why did somebody create 
sweet nice things that are fattening how come nobody created snacks and potato chips that were not fattening why why didn't you think of this when you created it somebody please why it bothers me and how about battery life of phones hello dear phone companies around the world please make my battery a bit less a bit longer please 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 and how about these products wrapped up in packages that you cannot open why aren't things supposed to go outside of the package come on open them up and what i really 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 detest really bothers me big time is women doing their fingernails in the train painting them it's Smells like hell, it's horrible. And then those people eating french fries in the train when you're on your way home. Come on, think about the other people that still have to eat. You're annoying everybody because everybody wants your fries. And how about when you walk on the street and people stop in the middle of the road right in front of you? You should just kick that person and also a dog that pooped outside my house that bothers me big time it also bothers me why people tag you in photos on facebook uh, where you're not in so people tag you you check the photo you're not in it and they just want attention i hate that when i see a picture that i'm tagged and i'm like yeah i'm in a picture and then you look and you're not in it it sucks it bothers me something that's been bothering inside but it's, it's not, uh, not something that I'm gonna yell again. But this has been bothering me. We've got this in the mail. It is from Bold.com and Bold.com in Holland and probably some in some other countries delivers like books and, and, and nowadays they deliver everything. But they also used to, at least I thought, they used to live, deliver CDs. I mean, who listens to CDs anymore? I mean, you, you just download shit, you know? But then yesterday, Bold.com sent us something. Well, not me. They actually sent it to David Visser. And David Visser, I guess, also lives in Edem on, on some other street with number 13. But they delivered it to me. And in there, I can feel it. You know, you can see there is a, I can show you the shape. There is a CD in there. So my mind bothers me now the whole day yes, since yesterday Marijn says oh go bring it to this number 13 street somewhere else and I want to know why David did you buy a CD and number two what did you get who is David I want to I can't wait anymore I want to rip it open it bothers me and it bothers me ah there it is ah. David I want to know what CD is you got what is David getting what is David listening to there we go. He bought a Django Reinhardt CD. It is has three discs. Django. Gypsy music is still sold on CDs. <sighs> now it doesn't bother me anymore. And now it bothers me that I ripped this thing open from this guy. <laughs> So from, from the joy of ripping it open to the joy of feeling bad, oh not the joy but the, oh now it bothers me I did this, oh no how much did he pay for this, oh my lord, $7.99, it cost $7.99, oh David Fisher, I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I have to go drop it out in his mailbox, Marijn you were right, I shouldn't have done this, it bothered me and now it bothers me that I, I, I will go and bring it.